Welcome to HiCAD Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw a 3D basket in AutoCAD. So here is one on the screen. I'm going to redraw this on a fresh page. So I'm going to switch to a new page now. Okay, so first I'll have to set up my drawing units. And that I'll do, I type in U then choose units from the drop-down window and on the line type here I'm going to choose decimal which is already highlighted there on precision I'm going to choose zero on insertion scale I'm going to choose millimeters I don't need this one so on angle type I choose decimal degrees and on precision I'll choose 0. So that's ok for that setup. Again I'm going to choose my workspace so I move up right here and choose 3D modeling and again also switch to isometric view and I'm going to choose here South East isometric. Ok so that will be ok for that setup. Right so here on the drawing, the top diameter of this basket is 100, the height is 50, and the bottom diameter is 80. Okay, so I'm going to draw a vertical line of 50 here. So I have to check the auto mode. Now draw a vertical line of 50, so I enter 50. Now I'm going to zoom in on this, move it right, ok. Now I'm going to draw the top diameter which is 100, so I click on this, with here at center point right click and choose diameter of 100, enter. Now the bottom diameter is 80, so I'm going to repeat circle and draw another diameter of 80 ok so the next thing I'm going to do here now is also to draw a line from the center of this circle to the quadrant point of this very circle draw another line from this very point to the quadrant point of this very circle ok Now the thickness of this very basket is 2. So I'm going to draw a square of 2 by 2. 2, 2. Enter. Ok, so I'm going to move this very square. Pick it from this very point And drop it right here. Ok. Now copy this line from this very point and also drop it here. OK. Now the next thing I will do now is to draw a helix. So move down here to the drop panel, click on helix, and this is the center of that helix and this here I choose the base radius. The base radius is this and the top radius is this. Now I have to determine the number of tons here. Now it is not going to be a full ton so I'm going to choose 0.2 of the whole ton. So I right click and choose tons and enter 0.2. Then I'll now have to choose the height of the very helix, which is the height of the basket. I click enter. Okay, so this is the helix. So the next thing I will do now is to extrude this very square along the path of this very helix. So I click on extrude. Click on this square. Enter. Right click and choose path. 
and click on this helix okay this is done so the next thing I'll do is to mirror this very extruded square to the left of the very circle so I come to the modified panel and choose mirror click on this and we hit choose here at the center and mirror to the left okay next I'm going to draw yet another circle which here at the center and draw a circle to terminate here right so next I'm going to now use the polar array command to array these two extruded squares so I come down right here click on this and choose polar array then select these two extruded squares enter choose either here or here at the center of this area I choose this very point now I have six of these very um, items but I need 30 of it so I'm going to right click choose items and enter 30 okay that is done again let's view the shaded form of it now so I click on this and click shaded okay so what I'm going to do now is to extrude these two circles so I click on extrude extrude this and this enter to a height of 5 enter 5 as height okay also extrude this circle at the bottom to a height of 2 which is the thickness of this very basket so I enter 2 and enter okay now to open up this very basket I'm going to extract this very one from the outer one this inner circle from the outer one so I move down here and click on solid subtract so I'm going to subtract from this outer one subtract from this then subtract the inner one okay so it is uh, it's now opened So this is the basket. You can see the the bottom and the top. So here's the basket. That's the bottom and here's the top. So what I'm going to do next is to use the union command to unite them all. Highlight the whole of this and enter okay so the next I will do now is to make a copy of this very basket and apply colors of my choice so I come right here and click on copy click on copy copy this and move it here okay enter okay so I'll now apply color on one of these so I right click here choose properties from this drop down window choose my color so I choose this color cyan okay so that's done now here are the two baskets completed completed in 3D so thank you for watching and please do subscribe for more of my tutorials